So the big question today is, what do you do when dating is just not clicking? Today, I want to talk about the dating process, whether you're feeling burnt out, disillusioned, or just plain unlucky in love. Let's talk about it. My name is Jonah Wosu and welcome to the Second Chances Podcast, a love journey in black and white. So earlier today, I was having a conversation with a friend and she's just sick of it. She's just tired of going on endless first dates, just swiping left and right and really not matching with anyone that she's attracted to or feels like has great potential for a long-term relationship. And she's just exhausted. She's just tired. So I'm wondering, are any of you in the same position where you're feeling disillusioned or maybe you're feeling overwhelmed or it's just not working? You're giving up. Don't give up. Stick with me. Today, I want to share with you a couple of things that maybe you might want to consider if this is how you're feeling about the whole dating game at the moment. First thing I want to talk about is expectations. Yes. So I know we have this idea of your what your prince charming or your dream woman looks like, you know, this long checklist, which we all have. Well, maybe it's time to consider that checklist. Maybe it's a little bit too much of a fairy tale. You see, I'm okay with you having standards, but there's a very fine line between knowing what you're worth and then seeking this mystical person who doesn't really exist. So from time to time, it's important to reflect on what's truly important to you and what maybe might have become some unrealistic expectations so you're just not able to find or match with anyone who fits that expectation. So maybe look look a little bit again at your expectation list. Another one I want to talk about now is self-love. I I had, uh, I did an episode a week ago or so on self-love and I think it's so key. And no, I'm not just talking about going to a spa day or treating yourself to a massage, even though that's kind of nice. I'm talking about self-improvement, really, really working on yourself or picking up a new hobby, something that really lightens the mood, brightens your day, because those things are pretty attractive. You know, once you start focusing on yourself and having fun and doing it, it will appeal to potential partners. And you never know, you might just meet someone new when you're embarking on one of these self-improvement or self-love hobbies. So try it out. Another point is, if the dating game is constantly feeling like, okay, I can't win, I can't win, I can't win, I can't win, you've been there nonstop three years and still you can't find a partner, maybe it's time to hit that pause button. I know this was something I did um, maybe like a, two years ago and I hit the pause button on the online dating app for a couple of months. And when I came back, it was so refreshing. I came back with a new burst of energy. I wasn't seeing the same familiar people that I've been seeing on the apps. And that pause is just a good opportunity for you to maybe focus on you and really figure out what's really important to you. Detox yourself from from all the the disappointments, from swiping left constantly and really not being able to find anyone that aligns with what it is that you're looking for. So take a bit of a break, take a pause for a couple of weeks or a couple of months if you can, and then come back feeling refreshed and re-energized, right? It's quite attractive as well when you just come back into the game. Okay, so let's switch gears a little bit. So Some people are always fishing in exactly the same pond, doing the same thing and just doing the same thing and hoping that something was going to change, something's going to change. Well, why not try something different? If you've been on the same apps, if you've uh, constantly been just doing the same thing, the same dating profile, the same conversations and nothing is happening, maybe it's time for you to try something different. Maybe try offline dating or maybe try new apps. There's so many apps these days. Maybe try Facebook dating. I heard that's a really, really good one now. But maybe open yourself up to different ways to meet uh, newer people, right? Expand this fish pond. In fact, jump out of the fish pond and jump into the mighty ocean, right? You never know where you might find this person. And if you've started to do some of the activities in the steps above, where now you're, um, you're getting into new hobbies or doing new activities or just taking up some self-improvement, you never know. You might just meet someone in one of those places. So expand your pond is the point is the point don't keep fishing in exactly the same pond that you've always fished in look for bigger sharks (laughs) 
Okay, so another point I want to talk about is getting a dating coach. And I know this is something that a lot of people maybe still don't understand the importance of it. I am a dating coach. So I'm not just saying this, but I also had dating and relationship coaches that really helped me to overcome some of those things that I was struggling with and come up with a strategy, a personalized strategy, I might say, that really aligned with who I am and was able to help me not just clarify what it was I was looking for, but also strategies in how to be able to find this person. Because Sometimes you might think it's common sense or that you know it all, but there might be something that you miss and someone who is a dating coach or an expert may be able to identify that and help you along on your journey. It might be a quicker, shorter journey for you just by getting a dating coach. So that's something that you should consider. Another thing that I want to talk about is your online profile. So if you're like me who really, really promotes online dating, maybe refresh your dating profile maybe change some new photos maybe update some of the things you're interested you know maybe if you've if you've learned something new or there's things about your life that has changed maybe share it make sure that it's a reflection of your true self and it represents who you are today not um, some image from god knows 10 years ago that really doesn't work so maybe give your page a, a profile a refresh and you may start to match with interesting people that that suit your criteria as well okay so another thing that has really worked for me in the past is really getting away from this obsession with finding the one and focusing on building friendships so if i went on a first date for instance i'm not constantly thinking oh there's got to be the one here's got to be the one that's just way too much pressure right you're expecting the person to be the one and then you want to make sure that you show up as the one how about you just go on a date to have some fun and say you know what maybe we could be friends as well it doesn't always have to end up in a romantic relationship Right, And you never know by becoming friends that may lead to other things or at least that may lead to a new friend and give you a better perspective of how to understand if it's a man or woman and if it's a woman a man. There can be benefits with just going out and building friendships and just meeting people. And you keep practicing how to, to date because like I always say, I wish dating was common sense. It's not. If it was common sense, we'd all have the fantastic, amazing, prince charming results that we, we so desire. So finally, I know I've given you some tips of how you can maneuver this difficult period of when dating is not working, but I want to say this, you have to be patient, right? The race is not a sprint. It's not a sprint at all. It's more like a marathon, right? You want to be clear on what the finish line is. You want to be clear on that you're making the right decision every step of the way. You don't want to just rush into anything. You want to make sure that you're working on yourself, that you know what it is that you truly want, that you're able to identify what it is that you're looking for and you don't just get carried away by the next available person. You see, the right person is worth the patience. So while you're waiting, how about you focus on other things? How about you focus on actually living life and enjoying each day as you progress? Yes, you have this goal in your mind to find your soulmate or your partner, but in the meantime, there's so much life to be lived. So focus on enjoying life, living each day in the moment and living it to the full, to the full, fullest because you, you never know where you might meet this person and you don't want to have missed out on life for three years of your life. Just focus on finding the one and missing out on so many other things that you could be experiencing. This journey to finding love is not an easy one. Dating can be really, really tough and I want to guarantee you that it's worth it, but you do need to be patient and enjoy what is more of an adventure, right? It's not just about finding someone. It's about finding the right person and making sure that when you do find the person, you also are ready for that kind of love. Because if you don't, then guess what? You're going to have found the person, but you're not going to be able to keep the person. Being able to keep a nurture relationship is not easy as well. So dating is tough. You might be frustrated right now, but that's an opportunity for you to work on yourself to make sure that you're also growing. You're also clarifying what it is that you want. And most importantly, that you're also living life to the fullness, to the fullest. So until next time, thank you for listening to the Second Chances podcast, A Love Journey in Black and White. Until next time, I will see you tomorrow, sending you love and light.